Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I'm going to take you through what's called ambient mode with the Lenovo Smart Display. So Google's ambient mode was released some time ago for Google Chromecast and other Chromecast style devices. But what they've done since is they've allowed it to go out to devices like the Lenovo Smart Display and I'm going to show you how to use it here today. Google Home has created ambient mode and what they did initially with the Google Chromecast was they allowed you to look at kind of historical paintings, big landscapes and other kind of big pictures like that on your TV that had Chromecast. So if you had either a Chromecast enabled TV or you had a Chromecast on your TV, these images were basically downloaded and rotated through. Now what you can see going on on my display here is a lot more personalized. So you can see pictures of me, my family, other pictures that were important to me showing up here on my Lenovo Smart Display. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do here. So I'm going to bring up my iPhone and we're gonna start rolling through the different settings here. So the first thing you have to do is actually go into the devices section of the Google Home application that's up in the top right of your screen and then you're going to scroll down and you're going to find your device. Now mine is called basement office display and you can see right now that the pictures are synchronizing between the two devices. So that's what's going on. We're rolling through the pictures here and that is actually ambient mode. So I can either tap on the three dots and tap on ambient mode settings or you can see down below, I can tap on edit ambient mode. Now, editing ambient mode gives you four options. So there's the Google Photos, the art gallery, the full screen clock, which I'll show you, and then you can see I'm using the experimental mode, and that's how I'm getting these kind of personalized pictures on my Lenovo Smart Display. Now, more than that, I can show and hide weather, the time, I can show personal photo data. So, for example, it says on my device that I took the picture anytime I took the picture and it's uploaded to my account. The other thing you can do is actually change the slideshow speed. So you can range from about five seconds all the way up, you can see to 10 minutes. So this gives you a pretty wide range of how often you're going to switch that picture and really changes the functionality quite a bit. So now again, I'm gonna roll through some of the different options. So you can go into Google Photos. Now this is the Google Photos application. So if you have an Android phone, you're much more likely to be using Google Photos. If you have a Google Drive account, again, you're much more likely because you have the storage space. But ultimately what you can do is go in and pick from any of your albums. You can see as I pick that, it's changing the picture on my device. So going back, I can go to the art gallery, which was the initial way that this feature worked. And you can see it switching right away again to all those different pictures that Google basically curates they create that list. Now heading back, the full screen clock is a nice feature if that's all you're looking for really. If you really just want to see the time on your device and I can see why. There's a number of different clocks here that you can choose and from there there's not much else to talk about. Now heading to the experimental mode, this is where I think this feature really changed for me. You can see that you can connect your Facebook and your Flickr accounts. So if you haven't already connected that, you simply tap here, it will ask you for the login settings and you're basically all done at that point. But for now, I'm already connected. So I'm just going to tap in to there and then you can see I could turn on and off my Facebook account. I could remove my Facebook account if I wanted to ever in the future. And then I can also go in and again, here's all my different albums from Facebook that I can scroll through and I can switch between. So I can remove the cover photos album if I'd like to simply by tapping on it and that will no longer show up on my Lenovo Smart Display. The other thing that's really great about this feature, that's about where I'm going to leave the actual work here on the phone, 
But the other nice thing about this feature is you can switch this per device. So that's a big differential. You can have certain photos on certain devices and you can have other photos on say the Lenovo Smart Display. Just to illustrate that, here I am using my upstairs TV which is a true Chromecast here. I'm going to tap on edit ambient mode and then you can see that I have some more features here you can see I can change the weather from Celsius to Fahrenheit or show both if I'd like that's different from the Lenovo smart display which was just showing show or hide on weather I can also choose the art gallery and you're noticing that my Lenovo smart display did not change to the art gallery it stayed with my curated Facebook content or my Facebook content there. So I think that's a pretty good run through of ambient mode here for your Lenovo smart display. I think it's a great feature. You guys can always let me know down in the comments below, but I have one thing to tell you about here before you get going. We actually have a giveaway here on Automate Your Life for this Lenovo smart display. Now this is an eight inch Lenovo smart display. We actually have a 10 inch smart display that we're giving away here on the channel. So go ahead, look down in the comments below. We have that in there. There's a link to Gleam. Go ahead, click on that. Read the terms and conditions, of course, but go ahead and get yourself entered. We'd love to give this away to one of our subscribers here on Automate Your Life. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.